Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. Okay, today I want to talk about another vitally important part of the transition, which is part of what I call pot tarting. That means when once, you, once you're approaching the impact and you hit the ball, what have I always said? Once you hit the ball, I want you to stand up like a pop tart coming out of a toaster. All right, so that means once we hit the ball, from this point on, come with a couple of things that are in my mind, is number one, once my, as I'm approaching the ball, I feel like once the shaft, the head of the shaft, my right hand and right arm reach my right foot and I strike the ball, then everything in my right side, from the feet all the way to my head, are chasing the club to the top. So, and as far as I'm concerned, once you strike the ball, you cannot stand up fast enough. But many of us have, been, have grown up, especially if we, if we, uh, been playing golf a reasonable amount of time, what do they always tell you? To this day, I, I still hear it all the time, keep your head down. Well, every one of you that when you signed up at, 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 at swingsurgeon.com and you got the 10 major mistakes amateur to make, one, if not the very first one, but it was in there probably in the top three, is going to be me debunking that concept of keep your head down. All right? So I'm not going to get into that debunk right now. But, but basically, if you keep your head down, you can't stand up fast enough. If you can't stand up fast enough, you can't straighten your arms out into the forward mitt and come up the tree and fold properly. All right? You keep your head down too long, your arms are going to stop breaking around your body. Because why? If this is down, this arm can go that far. This one can only go there. So you're right there. So that, that's one of the causes of chicken winging. Okay? So, the big thing I see, and I see it mostly with with especially with junior golfers, young, young golfers, and this has always been one of DJ's problems. He never kept his head down, but he kept it down too long, but yet at the same time, his hands were going up, all right? And so if you're young enough and supple enough and flexible enough, you could still stay down a fraction too long in here, but at once, you, once they usually, when this L, uh, shoulder will hit the chin, then they finally start standing up, but they were there a fraction too long, all right? We might only be talking tenths of a second, but it still impedes it and puts, you, puts stress under the body. And the older you are, the more that stress is. All right? So what I had to start teaching DJ and what I do teach a lot of folks is when I see it staying down too long, I think a lot of you have the concept that, that you, you wait for, you're waiting for the, the right shoulder to hit your chin and, and kind of like start pushing it up or actually it rides your shoulder up there. That is not correct. Ten, the right shoulder should never touch the chin. That's how much, the, how fast the head should be coming up. So the, the ultimate secret to this is, if you just sit, even if you're sitting down watching this video, just sit down straight, keep your head there. Now, just take your head and go like that with it. Like, you're, like you've hit the ball and you're gonna be starting, and your head's moving quickly to see, how, to see the ball, which is shooting off that club pretty darn fast, right? And so, you have, not, you have muscles in your neck that, that, that from your head come down into your neck and down into your shoulders. That's what allows you to be able to move your head around without moving your body, right? I can turn my head all the way to there, I can turn all the way there. I can, if I bend over here, I can turn it this way and start seeing the ball leave the club and, and pick the ball up just right out there instead of way out there, all right? So many of us, we just leave the head there to, until the shoulder hits it, and then and, and that, that, maybe that, and it's like, that's the clue. Okay, head, stop picking up, or the head rides up. Those are wrong. What you want to be doing is when you come down, and right about as you reach here, even before, once you strike that ball, my head is already standing up. Just go look at Annika Sorenstam and, and go look back and find videos of David Duval. They did this even faster than I do it. All right? They almost had, they, they almost have the head already past the ball when they hit it. I wouldn't, have, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that because if that head's already there and you haven't hit the ball yet, it, that could really affect your ability to strike the ball. Obviously, with those two, which are number one in the world in their respective tours, they got it down pretty good, but I still think the head should be there till impact and that nano of a second that once you hit it, as soon as I hit that ball and I feel that contact, my head and boom, that club is still going super fast, but my, my head is already turning to go see it. I've struck it, it's here, and I'm using these muscles in my neck to once I slap it, hit that ball, get that strike, these muscles are lifting my head up. So now it frees my shoulders up and I can actually stand my torso up faster because my head is not riding my shoulders are somewhat in the way as an extra weight slowing it down. So if you want the ultimate pot tart, you, got, you have to be using these neck muscles to help the head 
already start lifting itself so that it frees up the upper body, the shoulders, the torso, the hips, and everything, and the legs even to finally stand up to that T finish, okay? So try that. Just stand here, and, and once you hit that hit, you should start feeling your, these muscles starting to lift your head to free up your shoulders and everything to, to, to really, truly pop tight to the T finish. All right, that's it for the search today. Let's use these neck muscles the way God gave them that you can do it. And you're going to see that it'll improve your pop tightening, which is going to keep your club head speed more consistent and faster going through the ball, which will increase club head speed and should increase distance, with nice, with especially with good solid hits. That's it for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.